Alrighty gang, we are back with our regularly scheduled Crash of the Titans. No more dealing with sharks or symbiote sharks. We just got flying women and spiders. Um, so Carolina Dean, Spider-Man, or going and Spider-Man. That would be kind of a weird combination to have. Anyway, going up against the revamped Emma, Emma Frost. So as we always do, we take a look at the uh, the powers for you know characters we're fighting against. Look at endless powers, or look at the person who we're going to use, and then game plan the strategy um, to take out uh, the characters. And I did not, and to I totally did not mean to do that there. Dang touch screen. So Carolina Dean is obviously a yellow, blue, and green user. Um, matter of fact, I need to go into my roster to remember all of her abilities because I know she can go airborne with her blue ability. I know her green ability does team damage and her yellow creates protectiles, but we want to give the accurate information. All right. So team spirit is a yellow. Uh, like I said, it creates protectiles on the board and then for each runaway on her team, she adds a additional protectile and then whatever. An ally is healed, then the healing is improved by the listed amount. <clears throat> so that means if someone's getting, uh, like a Koye is getting true healed, well, Carolina's going to increase that healing a little bit more. And then at higher levels, more healing, more, more stronger protectiles, additional protectiles created, blah, blah, blah. Rising Sun is her blue ability again like i said it's going to send her airborne it creates a uh, fortify countdown tile that creates protectiles as long as it's on the board and then whenever carolina comes back from being airborne um she'll uh, generate ap at higher levels it's more blue ap stronger protectiles and then sunset strip um, if there's five or more friendly protectiles on the board at the start of her turn, then that countdown tile will, will be destroyed and all the protectile, well, it converts protectiles into strike tiles and then, you know, all that good stuff there. And then finally, Solar Flare, like I said, this is her team damage ability. And so it deals team damage to the enemy and then... If there's at least two or more friendly special tiles on the board, then uh, the team is healed for a burst amount of health. And again, the higher levels, more burst health, more damage. Her team affiliations, runaways, A Force, non-humans. You know, for those that for those things that do matter. All right, Emma Frost. So she has on her. I think it's, yeah, the House of X outfit. I don't know why I was thinking Hellfire Club, but we'll do House of X and then we'll do her original when we fight Spider-Man. So she's a purple, black, and a yellow user. Um, psychic meddling, uh, what it does, uh, it will, hang on just a second. Yep. Yeah. All right, I think she got it. Thank you, sir. That's cool. Um, so purple ability, this here cost eight, uh, creates a repeater tile, max of one. Okay. Um, is it destroys three enemy strike attack strike attack or protect tiles on the board and if none exists then the repeater tile destroys two ap uh and the selected enemy's strongest color instead so it'll be it'll be yellow for carolina and then while this on the while this is on the board then the selected enemy's abilities are disabled and then this tile here is destroyed or the selected enemy 
or have this tile is destroyed if the selective enemy is down or Emma enters her diamond form which we'll get into that there in a second uh, girl's best friend is her black ability which is called seven and what it does it fortifies up to four basic or friendly enemy special tiles prioritizing our specials and then turns into diamond skin and what diamond skin uh, does uh, increases her mass damage she can't be stunned uh, she takes less damage but she can't fire off any powers so that's that's diamond skin in a nutshell and higher levels more mass damage you know resistance all that good stuff there and then labor for learning is her yellow ability and what it does it creates two-term repeater tile uh, that places strike tiles on the board and then improves existing friendly tiles by the listed amount so yeah there's that and then the uh, Stepford, Stepford cuckoos which are the clones of Emma um, this is the support I have equipped to her uh, whenever we fire off a power there's a chance to steal three random AP uh, we got a massive increase of purple match damage and then enemy powers will um, deal less damage to Emma for however many fortified tiles we have on the board up to a max of six and again that's the synergy perk there uh, for her affiliations heroes mutants Brotherhood, Avengers, A Force, mm, yeah. So, um, strategy here with Emma: get as much purple, I mean, get as much yellow as we can to um, to get her ability, is to get her yellow ability off. Uh, if we want to get diamond form, you can do that there as well. But, but we primarily want to get that yellow I mean that yellow and we want to get that purple so that Carolina can't fire off any powers so that's what we're gonna do here now lucky for me this is gonna be probably one of those one of those simple crashes because I really don't have any teams to really pair up Emma Frost with to be honest with you is You know, ever since she's got a rework, I really haven't taken the time out to, uh, you know, to work on that there. Because that was like one of the uh, the great mysteries of Marvel Puzzle Quest. Like, who do you pair Emma Frost up with? And, well. Let's just continue to destroy P and yellow, why don't we? I really want to get enough yellow so that I can... I can fire off her label for learning and then we'll be able to, uh... To get fortified. I let Carolina take. Well, I'm not gonna say let her take the, the yellow, but all right. Now let's go ahead and get all these tiles fortified. And increase match damage, so it doesn't really matter. Not too much, anyways. I'm gonna create those protectiles. Big deal. Again, we can't fire off any powers because because she's in her diamond skin. Does a little damage and and I think that's probably going to be the last hurrah for Carolina there. All right. 
All right, so there's one legendary token down. Thanks, Alliance, for playing. Again, you can say, hey, if you're looking for an alliance, you know, hey, join us at, um, go for the hit. Like I said, I'm actively, actively looking for folks to join us. Now, Spider-Man, yellow, blue, and purple user. So his yellow ability costs 12, and what it'll do, it'll deal damage to us. Is that it would deal a lot more damage if Spider-Man would have a downed ally, but since this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, it doesn't really matter too much. Its blue ability will stun us for one turn. It costs five blue AP. It'll create a web tile. And then whenever there are more web tiles on the board, it will have a longer stun. So if he gets three web tiles on the board, then it's going to be a three turn stun. So it's just a max of a three turn stun. All right. And then finally, his purple ability is Spider Sense. Anytime Spider Man matches a purple tile, then he creates a purple protectile. And if there happens to be a web tile on the board, then it then that protectile will be a little bit stronger. Uh, as far as Spider-Man's affiliations go, I know it's Heroes, Avengers, Spider-Verse, should be Enhanced, um, should be Geniuses. Again, it, it's, it's irrelevant for this fight here. Alright, so again, like I said, the strategy here against Spider-Man, hey, get in diamond form as fast as we can. Don't let them stun us. We can deal with the uh, the reduced reduced damage and all that there. This is my ah. Let's just let my matches do the talking now. So yeah, I tried to blitz um, Diamond Form as fast as I could, and then yeah, I forgot, like, yeah, uh, no special tiles on the board, whoops. But alright, so that's gonna end the Crash of the Titans this week here. Next week, it looks like we got, oh, Yondu, because it's now gonna be time for uh, the Awesome Mix.
yeah, Austin Mix Volume Two of it. Um, I was about to call them Ravagers. Um, oh my goodness, the um, Guardians of the Galaxy because their movie's coming up pretty soon. Uh, Comrade Vault, this here, you know, got supports here for the new Comrade support, um, stuff for Clea, whatever your favorite five-star character is, a bunch of Doctor Strange stuff, you know, Doctor Strange charge, legendary token, yeah, I've been kind of busy here. Um, Fool's Gold, uh, opportunity to get get your favorite five star shards um legendary tokens and you know command points blah 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 and i think that should just about be it i know i'm is that it mentioned about the uh the land shark store with jeffrey spider-man peter parker and black widow it's an all right store I already got both Spider-Man and Black Widow Champion waiting for Jeffrey to then our legendary tokens to replace Wong. So, yeah. And so, again, thank you all for watching. You know, be excellent to your fellow human beings. And I'm going to catch all y'all in the next video. Peace.